everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com, and today I have a super fun um, Halloween card that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, the holiday catalog is coming. Um, if you have, re if you were a current customer of mine, you should have received yours. Hopefully, you have your wish list ready. Um, and if you need a holiday catalog, um, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to send you one. Um, this is one of my favorite bundles from our holiday catalog, and I've created this super cute um, card and coordinating envelope. So I hope you can see here um, this lovely spider web. This is using some new product, and we've embossed our sentiment today, and it's just fun and playful, um, and that's just what I needed. So let's go ahead and show you how I created this. Again, the bundle is the Cauldron Bubble. Um, this is a fun set uh, for Halloween. It has lots of images um, and a couple sentiments here, but perfect for coloring. Um, it has some designer series paper that we're going to use today that coordinates. And then, of course, we have framelits that go with these images, which is always um, a nice thing. All right, so for our card base... I have a piece of granny apple green. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Um, the designer series paper that I mentioned, um, I have shared with you guys before. It's called Toil and Trouble. Um, it's super fun and colorful. I have showed you uh, most of these papers already, um, so feel free to check out one of my other videos if you'd like to see that. We are going to be using the black foil um, paper, which is new to the catalog, and that has a nice sheen on it, um, which is fun for our spider web. So I'm going to use a piece of the designer series paper for the inside. This is about half inch um, by, what, five and a half. Um, I'm also using another piece on the front of our card. Uh, this is cut four by four and an eighth, I think. And I have a piece of basic black that is cut one and three quarters by four and an eighth. And then we are going to just also um, die cut out one of these cauldrons from another piece of paper. Uh, so let's go ahead. Why don't we start with our big shot work and get that out of the way. I will grab, grab my big shot. I have my magnetic platform as well as my precision base plate. And I'm going to put in this designer series paper. We are going to grab our die, which fits perfectly over. Oops. That would stick better without the precision base plate, but I'm going to leave it on so we can do our spider webs. All right, let's roll this through. That trims this out perfectly, so we'll set that aside. All right, now we will grab our foil, and I'm gonna grab that spider web, and we are going to cut four of these from the foil to make up our larger web. And this is a great accent, too, um, for your card. I'm gonna roll this through a couple times just to make it easy. You can see how easy this pops out from that precision base plate. It really is worth every penny, especially with the intricate stuff. It can be very frustrating, and this takes all of that away. All right, out. Okay, so let's get rid of our big shot. Now, I will mention um, the best way I think to use these spider webs is to use our adhesive sheets because um, you can put those behind the foil when you put it through the big shot and then everything will have adhesive on it um, which is great. I for the life of me cannot find my adhesive sheets. I, um, I had some water damage in my craft room a while back and it made me, you know, pack up things very quickly, and I for, cannot find it. So that's sorry for me, but I did want to mention to you guys, um, those are definitely, you know, would be much quicker and easier to use here. Okay, so let's go ahead and give our card a nice burnish. 
Okay. We are going to lay our pieces down. So I'm going to grab my snail. There is our basic black. All right, we're going to grab our cauldron. Let's do our actually let's do our embossing first, just because we don't want to get powder anywhere. All right, so I'm going to bring in a piece of our grid paper. I'm going to grab my embossing buddy, and we're going to rub that right over the basic black. That's going to take away any of the static that we have. We have our Versamark here and we have our white embossing powder. So we're going to open this up. We're going to ink that up. That's a nice fresh pad. And we are going, let me pull this closer to me for a moment. Stamp that down just like that. And then we're going to pour our bossing powder right over. And I can get most of that right back in there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Let me grab my paper. I see a little bit of the powder. The white is always harder to see, but believe me, it's there. Put that right back in. Let's close this up. Now I have my heat tool, and I have yet to put a cord on it so that it reaches better um, to my surface here for you guys. I'm going to put it on, on setting two, and we are going to emboss. Okay, and hopefully now you can see um, how bright white that is and shiny. Now we can go ahead and put down our cauldron. So I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on it. Okay, we're going to set that here. I'm going to use some of our metallic um, glitter enamel dots here. I'm going to use these green ones just to give us that nice bubbly effect that I think about when I think about a cauldron. Whoops. That one doesn't want to come. Okay. So there we go. All right, and now to our spider webs. So I am going to turn these all over. Like I said, I did not use my adhesive sheets, but highly recommend that. Um, I am going to use my multi-purpose glue. And hopefully this one is almost empty. They're always much more difficult um, when you're videotaping it. Okay, so I'm going to grab, grab my grid paper, and we're going to start with our spider web there. And what I do is I like to use a block. And then as I ink up the next one, that will get that one secure. All right, I'm going to leave that black there, close up my glue. All right, now we have these cute little spider trinkets embellishments. They are the cutest things. I am not a fan of real spiders, um, but these ones I don't mind. We have um, some black thread, and I'm just going to cut myself just a small piece, no particular length. We're having a thunderstorm, hopefully. You're not hearing all that rumbling. I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm just going to feed that through the little jump ring. And you really don't have to have the thread because we're not going to use the thread to adhere this. Um, but I just like, like it adds a little little extra element. I have the little thread. I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to fold it in half 
and I'm going to place it right here in the center of our web and I'm going to stick that spider's body right into it and then I'm going to trim that thread down and I just like that you can kind of in person probably better than the camera you can see that thread kind of setting up um, on the card and I just love the effect now for the inside of our card that is where that other piece of designer series paper is going to go so we're going to put down our snail and we're going to put this flush right along the bottom just like that and then for the envelope um, I'm using a medium whisper white envelope we are going I colored mine with the Stampin' Blends because you guys know I love my Stampin' Blends. And some of these colors are the newer colors. I have a piece of scrap paper that I'm just going to set right inside my envelope because with the Stampin' Blends it will bleed um, through your envelope and you don't want that. So I have my little witch. I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and we are going to ink her up well. And then we are going to stamp her in this lower left corner. Just like that. And then for the Stampin' Blends, I will tell you what colors I used. I'm not going to um, color it all on video for you guys today because I know it's boring to sometimes watch that. So I'm using the Highland Heather Combo. The Basic Black Combo, the Granny Apple Green Combo, the Pumpkin Pie Combo, and then the Crumb Cake. So the Crumb Cake is for her hair, the Pumpkin Pie is for her leggings, um, purple on her dress, the black on her boots, and then of course the green and purple for her hat and like her cape. Um, and just be sure, like I said, you can, um, you know, put something inside your envelope so that it doesn't bleed through. And then it's so easy and quick, you know, to use your stamp and blends and, and color her in. And I love coloring and I just love taking my time and doing it slow. Um, so here I will show you our finished envelope once again. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I've loved sharing this project with you. I love this bundle. I hope you guys do pick it up in my online store starting September 5th. Again, if you do not have a demonstrator and would like a catalog, please leave me a comment or reach out. I would love to send you one. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.